I just finished seeing Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. Is it all hype? Or should these dino bones be put back in the dirt? Let's talk about it. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Let me start out saying up front that this review contains minor spoilers. If you have not yet seen the movie, I would encourage you to delay watching my review till you have the opportunity to see it. You still here? Okay. Three years after the destruction of the Jurassic World theme park, Owen Grady and Claire Daring returns to the island of Isla Nublar to save the remaining dinosaurs from a volcano that's about to erupt. They soon encounter terrifying new breeds of gigantic dinosaurs while uncovering a conspiracy that threatens the entire planet. Let's check it out. My first impression for this film is so-so. Let me start out with what I liked about the film. What I liked about the film was that the special effects were still top-notch. The scenery for the island was still breathtaking. The CGI for the dinos was memorizing and lifelike. The acting was standard. The pacing was okay. Here is the synopsis for the stars of the film. Claire Daring, played by Bryce Howard, a former operations manager who is now a dinosaur rights activist and has founded the Dinosaur Protection Group in order to evacuate the surviving dinosaurs from Isla Nambla. Owen Grady, played by Christopher Pratt, a Navy veteran and former dinosaur trainer. Dr. Henry Wu, played by B.D. Wong. He is the former head geneticist of both Jurassic World 
and the original Jurassic Park. He's really kind of a genius and he really is responsible for this alleged technology creating these creatures. Dr. Ian Malcolm, played by Jeffrey Goldblum. He is an expert in chaos theology who once consulted for Jurassic Park. He doesn't have a major role in the action, but it's definitely a very meaningful one in terms of the story. Blue, she's a bioengineered last living Velociraptor. Dr. Wu intends to use Blue's DNA to create improved versions of the Indoraptor. Additional characters, Eli Mills, played by Rafi Spall. He plays the villain. He hires Owen and Claire to rescue the dinosaurs, but he had sinister motives, which was to sell the dinos to the highest bidders for a buck. Sir Benjamin Lockwood, played by James Cromwell. He is John Hammond's former partner in developing the technology to clone dinosaurs. Dr. Zia Rodriguez, played by Daniela Panetta. She's a former Marine who is now the Dinosaur Protection Group Paleo Veterinarian. And Franklin Webb, playing by Justice Smith. He is a Dinosaur Protection Group System Analysis and Hacker. In viewing this film, we got to see some wonderful eye candy moments. For example, the first 15 minutes of the film where the lagoon gate is left open and allowing the Musaras to escape into the ocean. The scene where as the island was exploding and breaking up, they showed a brontosaurus on the pier within the cloud of ash getting ready to die. That was heart wrenching to watch. I know that even though my first impression is just so-so, I still had some issues with the film. So, what did I have a problem with? Well, I have five big issues. Issue one, I felt like most of the highlights were showed within the trailers. Issue two, we went from a whole island to now housing these beasts inside a mansion, down in the basement. That was plain silly. Issue three, I'm getting really tired of seeing kids take center stage in these movies. Issue four, the ignorant hunter first sees the Indoraptor inside of the cage, shoots it, then he decides to still open the cage so he can extract its tooth for a memento. Issue five, I had a problem with the little girl. This girl punches in security code and she's had access to the secret lab in the basement? Where was the security? We also see the new creation, the Indoraptor, pursue the girl throughout the mansion, and she decides to hide on top of a bed under a blanket. We then learn towards the end of the film that this girl is a product of bioengineering, a clone of a dead daughter. This was just plain ludicrous. I sat there in the theater looking at the screen and thinking, really? Question, is it just me or after Chris Pratt got reacquainted with Blue, the raptor, the next scene should have been followed with this. With that said, it's time to give my overall rating score for this movie. Based on my likes and dislikes, I'm going to give Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 5 out of 10 stars. So that's my full review of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. If you like my reviews and our other content, please subscribe and post your comments below. Till then, see you at the movies.